<laughs> like, like a deck chair. <laughs> it is hot today. It's, it's, hot. it's like 30 degrees. Honestly, it's also it um, race weekend, so I've got my <laughs> McLaren top on. Hello and welcome to the video. It's a lovely day though, it's absolutely beautiful. This is UK weather that's going to last, what, two days? Welcome to the video. So today we've got Noor's 718 Cayman GT4. Um, shout out to Noor for being willing to let me film his car. He's actually, it's actually been on the channel before we did a... We did a valve controller comparison video. That was it. Yeah, so I've got a valve controller on my 718 GT4. So that basically means it's a car graphic valve controller. It means that the, it means that the valves are permanently open if I choose so by pressing the uh, little remote controller. It means that at low revs, driving around town, um, the car, the valves remain open and it sounds nice, you can hear the exhaust. Because if you didn't know, um, whether you press the exhaust button on the center console, after a thousand revs, the valves will close and reopen again after 4,000. It's EU regulations, it's to make sure that the car is quiet when you're driving around town, a massive problem. If you wanna go and watch that, click up here but I'm exploring other exhaust options and Nor has just installed the Acropovic over axle pipes or link pipes. So we're gonna be filming that today um, and I wanna show you guys what that sounds like. Exhaust videos never really come across that well on camera. Um, the microphone can kind of pick it up. It, it kind of doesn't really give you volume and oomph, um, but it does let you kind of get an idea of, of tone, um, volume a little bit maybe, when you can see Nor in the distance and you can still hear him. Uh, but I'll try my best to try and convey what that sounds like in real life. Spoiler alert, absolutely amazing. So, if you didn't know already, um, the 718 GT4 exhaust is made up of basically three components. You've got the headers that come off the exhaust, and that's where the catalytic converters are. Then you've got the link pipes, um, which is where there's an OPF, and then you have the back box um, right at the back. And so Noor has kept his back box, he's kept his um, headers, um, but he's just swapped and changed out um, the link pipes, removing OPF, um, which means that he needs an OBD error blocker as well. So you basically need two components to get this set up. The result it sounds absolutely amazing. So without further ado, we may do a few couple of clips where I compare my stock one over um, against Noor's OPF delete one, um, acropobic link pipe one. But yeah, put your headphones in, enjoy, and let me know what you think.
dear me. I can still hear it. <laughs> still here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again to Nor for lending his car for the video. I mean, I don't know how it's come across in clips at all, but in real life, and you can see by the decibel meter, it's got more oomph to it. It's not obnoxiously loud, kind of how when you made M cars louder, they were a bit obnoxious, a bit chavvy. With this, it sounds like how it should sound from factory, kind of how a 981 GT4 sounded from factory because they had no OPF. It's just got more oomph. It's got more like the, the air vibrates and you can feel it in your chest, but it doesn't sound horrible. And when you hear it, you, you can't see the car anymore. I know he's at the other end of the road and I can still hear him in the trees. It sounds amazing. So for the price, you know, they're really cheap for these systems. Um, you're looking at maybe a thousand pounds um, to get, that's why a lot of people do link pipes because they're the cheapest part of the exhaust to get done. It's a no brainer and it just sounds absolutely mega. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like it, comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you later in the next video. Yeah, buddy. Yeah.